Okay, this is just a quick video explaining how to use uh, T-Rex Miner and XM Rig. Uh, let's see right here. Bas Random X Miner right here on Unmonable's website. This is for CPU, GPU. If you have more than six gigs of VRAM, you can use ETHash. It's the most profitable. Uh, and if you don't have it, you at least three, you can use ETHCash. But again, similar miners, uh, T-Rex, Phoenix Miner. Uh, I use T-Rex, it's very good. But again, so let's kick, click on uh, ETHash for my GPU, uh, my 2070s, my 3060s TIs, my RTX 3060s are all using this GPU ETHash algorithm on T-Rex Miner. So basically, you want to click on T-Rex. If you don't already have this, it's going to give you a step-by-step -step how to download it, right? Now, the one option you have is to go through Unminable's app, which I deleted because I don't use it anymore. It does take away some of your hash power, and it also uses more strain on the computer, which is weird. But uh, basically, once you have this miner, whether it's T-Rex or anything, you don't need anything else. You know, you just need this, and you can get started. So once you have your T-Rex miner downloaded, <clears throat> you're gonna have to create a file that has this information in it. Basically, you'll copy and paste this into Notepad. Okay, so this will go into Notepad. I'll give you an example. I have them created already, so I'll just pull up one that I have open. So as you can see in my downloads, I have XM rig and T-Rex miner. You'll get them in this file, which you'll extract. Once you extract it, you'll open the file. And it'll have all these pre-made ones, etc. This is one I created. You create a command prompt by going like this. So basically, that thing I told you would copy and paste right here, I already did. And you're going to want to fill it in with your correct information. So I swapped out whatever kind of coin I want, whatever kind. And then the corresponding wallet. So for that particular coin, your money ETH or Doge, it'll be different. Then you have the, the worker name. And that's it. Everything else is set to go for your particular miner to go through their current their pool payout system right here. And uh, then you're good to go once you have your miner, the coin, and the name of your rig that you choose right here. Everything else is good. So in order to create this file, sorry about the background noise. Uh, this is just something to help you guys out. Uh, so you go to file, save as. Now at the bottom, you can save it to wherever you would like. Uh, probably desktop just so you can move it to where you need to quicker but basically after you go ahead and you name it which I already did you want to add dot bat all right this can be text that's perfect and this has to be a n s i then you hit save boom and that'll save a file that looks something like this It'll have the little gears because it's a command prompt. Now, when you save these, when you save the file, what you're gonna have to do, say you save it on your desktop here, you'll have to move it into the file, for example. So this is T-Rex Miner. That's the one I was talking about. So say you created T-Rex Miner, you would wanna drag the one you created over here into the file with all the rest of these. Just drag and drop, boom. Once it's dragged and dropped, you double click it, It'll start to run the miner. It'll show you every bit of information you need to know. And it's really that simple. And it's gonna be mining to unminable. And you can manage um, the information on it. I would like to pull. go to unminable. You click on the coin you have. You could type in the address right here. You go to addresses, boom. You type in your address. And then it will pull up the current stats of your miner, how much you've mined, etc. Each one you've named it. This is my CPU miners, which I haven't showed you yet. These are my GPU miners. Okay. Now, to get started on the next little thing here, MSI Afterburner. If you have a good graphics card, you're gonna want this. It keeps stats of your graphics card and your CPU. Uh, that's what you see here. Let me pull it up. This has the temperature of my GPU, the usage, the temperature of the CPU, and the corresponding usage as well. It's a little higher because I'm currently moving it around and stuff. But usually I have in the settings here, 
system, move this out the way for you. But I go to power and sleep, right? Now when the, when it's uh, going to sleep, I want the screen, when it's turn, to turn off after one minute. And that means I'll be more power efficient, saving the screen energy. And then it also helps the GPU run a little smoother in CPU because it doesn't have to put anything on the screen display and it never goes to sleep. So it'll continue to run, okay? So that's just another thing I do. So also, I'm not gonna do anything to change this, but if I hit this button, it'll restart the, the set stats here to the original. However, if you don't have it overclocked, there's a way to test it and it's a really trial and error thing. The more important thing is memory clock here. Most things, most GPUs, you take this core clock down a bit. Your overall power limit and temp limit, they're connected, so you just move this down to about 80 to 78%. Uh, and then once you lower this a little bit, you want to start moving this up some graphics cards like my other one can do 1300 some can do 1100 and this one does happens to a thousand It's a 2070 RTX Okay, but basically what I would do I'd move the settings to how I want make sure this is unlocked Then I would hit save and it'll numbers will flash here and I could click to save on the particular number That I want to save it under and then once I do that It'll stop flashing and I can lock it and that's gonna be in place and I just minimize it and now it's running overclock getting my hash rate um, now as far as the settings go let me just go through that real quick for you guys so you can monitor in the display window like I have here I have it detached that's what I hit to detach it but you go in your settings monitoring and then you know I click on GPU temp and usage and then you got the CPU one temp usage and that's really all you need and then you'll have that displayed just make sure you apply and hit OK but again, that's enough MSI Afterburner. You can tweak with that a little bit more on your own. This is mainly to get you going, connecting your wallet through Unminable with any miner that you choose. Usually, again, the ones they, they have options for because you can copy and paste their code that they made. And this could be for anything. This could be for ETH, Raven, uh, Doge, uh, whatever you want to mine. And you just simply would change the address and the coding that you have. For example, find it here so let me see here so I would just open the one I was showing you earlier this is the t-rex miner one I created for Shiba uh, Inu coin uh, so basically if I want to make this eat ETH Ethereum or Doge I would put the, that name in and then change the wallet address and then I would just save a new file save as and then I would name it you know ETH Still T-Rex, still through Unminable, so I would just change that. Say it again, text, and then A-N-S-I, save wherever I want, and then I would just make sure I drag and drop through the file, to the file of the, for example, if this is the file T-Rex Miner XM Rig, depending what it's for, that's where I would drag and drop it. Oops. Oh, I gotta go download, sorry about that. What in the heck? Now here we go. So again, I would just find this file. If it was on my desktop, I would drag, drop, and as soon as it's in here, it'll open. And so when I click it through the miner and automatically mining correctly to the miner. And once again, once it is mining, it takes a second, but you can monitor your stats from your GPU. Boom, boom, boom. And then for your CPU, boom, boom, boom. Okay. And let's see here, minimize that. No, I'm looking at the screen like a moron. So that's that one. Now you have the CPU miner. So again, I'm using XM Rig. Watch on here, they have it called, what is it here? Go back. So I'm gonna click on a new coin just to make it easier. Say we wanna mine Bitcoin, which I don't, but if you did, so say it's with CPU now. Your random X CPU XM rig. That's also a name. So basically, get started with XM rig. Boom. Move this out of the way. Now, what you would want to do is again, once you have XM rig, but if you're already mining with Unminable, this file is already on your computer, and all you have to do is simply open that file. Then you'd want to copy that right there. I'll have links for both of these in the. Uh, the description it'll just basically be a link to a cop, cop, copy of this and then a copy of the other one 
And so if you're using the same thing as me, again, you would just change the coin and the worker address and bam, you're, you're active. So it's pretty simple. Now I'm gonna show you how my XM rig looks. It's very similar to the other one. So I'd go to my file, download XM rig. That's my CPU miner once again. And you'll see the one I created right here. XM rig ship CPU. I'm gonna go to edit cause I already have it created. Boom, there it is. That's the pre-built um, phrase that you have. There's the coin I want to mine. Again, the wallet. And then the name of my worker right here. So after that, once again, similar to the other one, you hit save as wherever you want. Then type in dot B-A-T. Then make this A-N-S-I save. And once that's saved, Once that's saved, then you go ahead and drag it from your desktop where you saved it to into the file of the miner. Again, that's XM rig for me, and it will go wherever it needs to, you know, alphabetically most likely. And there it is. Yeah, it looks like it's alphabetical. And you just double click it, it'll load up looking like this. And again, you can mine it, um, look at this all through a mineable. Now doing this, the reason you do it is again, it's less strain on the PC, you get more hash, and this PC in particular, it runs at 100%. It doesn't change with this, but you get more hash out of it. Same thing with GPU. If I ran this through a mineable, I'd get about 39 hash, make a hash, but I get about my solid 43 or so. Again, the screen's running, so it lowered it a little bit. When I, before I did this video, it was at two shares per minute average. Now I'm at 0.35. Again, because I am moving things on here, it is gonna slow it down. And I'm gonna exit out of unminable there. But again, it's really that simple. If you have any questions, comment. I'll try to do what I can. Maybe post another video if I'm missing anything. Uh, a, a wallet I recommend, even if you don't have a hardware, um, a cold wallet, meaning it's safer. You have to have a device that's not connected to the internet, anything like that. Uh, SafePal is like a $30 wallet. It takes a while to ship because there's such a big back order on it. It took about a month for me to get mine, month and some change. Uh, but all you do is you connect that wallet by scanning a code. There's many videos on SafePal wallet. Um, but you can also use the the digital one where you don't need that you just make an account the passphrase all that you save at a separate place i save it at a couple locations so i don't lose it and it's really that simple hey coco hey girl <laughs> but uh yeah it's really that simple and i'm trying to think what else we need to add here uh, once you're mining cpu gpu and again any coin same setup uh, and again, with this one in particular, it's running at 100% CPU usage. Uh, but the VRAM in my 3060s is a little different. So, and then my CPU is on that as a Ryzen 5. It runs at 78% and does about 2,500 mega hash. This 3060 Ti and the Ryzen 7 that's in it, which I have another one of these coming later today that I'll be setting up is running at about 5,500 hash, and then usually about 62, but again, when I turn on the screen, it does drop the rates. They're all connected through ethernet. My other two computers are over there. And I have a couple other low end computers mining CPU, because it seems as though every thousand hash is about one mega hash. So just me having my CPUs running, I'm adding about 19 mega hash for having my one, two, three, four, five, six other CPUs running. Some are only pushing about 500 but the other ones are putting 5,500, 1,900, and then consistently on the other ones, 29, 2,800. So just a little little help there. I know I went through a lot working with Unminable and different platforms, and this seems to be the easiest way. It's pretty efficient, works well. Any questions, again, leave them in the comments. I'll try to put the links I can. And yeah, have a great time, have a great day. Love you all, peace.